All right, folks, welcome back to the channel. This is the last video of closing out 2023 and setting up for the new year in 2024. And this video is about the total savings I was able to put away in 2023. So let's jump right into it and see what we're looking at. So for the year, I put away $77,500. Uh, this is a 13% increase over 2022. It could have been even higher, but I alluded to in my last video that I had uh, higher spending in 2023 than it was expected. So it ate into that a little bit. And you'll see that when I get to the taxable uh, brokerage account savings uh, for the year, it's pretty, pretty comical. Uh, but jumping into broad categories, I was able to put $55,900 into my 401k. Uh, that's made up of uh, 38500 for traditional 401k savings. This is my direct contribution plus the profit sharing from my firm. And then on the Roth side, I was able to put away $17,363 of savings. And that's direct contribution as well as an in-plan voluntary after-tax contribution. To my Roth IRA, I was able to put away $6,500. That's the maximum for 2023. And I did this via a backdoor conversion because my uh, income is too high to contribute directly. For home mortgage, I was able to save $15,000 in home equity. Uh, so this is directly going into my net worth, right? So I count that as savings. It's kind of a, a forced saving plan, but uh, it's not the most efficient, but you got to live somewhere. So uh, it is what it is. And then last but not least, in the taxable uh, brokerage account, I put away $6.62. So uh, there you go. So that's the uh, savings for 2023. And uh, I'm hoping to increase that uh, in 2024, hoping to hit the uh, six-figure mark again. Um, it seems possible, but let's see what happens with my spending in 2024, and we'll take it from there. Anyways, that's it. Thanks for uh, stopping by, and I'll see you in the next video. Later.